Your clients use probably similar data sets in a, in a different way. And how do you maintain data quality and interoperability across these various data sets to ensure companies like, like Janssen have easy access to data and partners like Ation can easily ingest your data or the data that you provide through their analytics. And uh, again, my name is Andrew Goldberg. I'm the co-founder and COO at Health Verity. We're a venture-backed, essentially a healthcare data marketplace based in Philadelphia. And actually, everybody on the stage here is a customer of Health Verity. And some of these businesses are actually, we're a foundational uh, data element in the work that they do. And actually, some of you in the audience are customers as well. So I feel just at home today. By saying we're the largest marketplace for healthcare data, essentially what Health Verity has done is created software that ultimately manages the identity and privacy of US healthcare data on a national basis. And we have developed relationships with about 75 different data sources around the country. This is going to be medical claims, pharmacy, lab, EMR, death data, consumer data, et cetera. And the biggest misconception about healthcare data overall is that because you go out and license healthcare data, you can actually understand the complete journey of a patient. But healthcare data is really like Humpty Dumpty. It falls off the wall and it breaks into a thousand pieces. And it's really hard to reassemble the entire journey because nobody actually knows the denominator of any single patient with respect to the data. And so there's a lot of companies who are ultimately trying to license certain data types because they think the whole answer is there, when in fact it's not. And I'll give you a really good example, especially for your space. Specifically for those people trying to follow drugs of certain drug companies to predict earnings, some of those drugs may actually be blocked in what's called open claims data, but you can follow that patient in closed claims where the data is not blocked. And so understanding how to curate, how to synthesize, how to organize the data to ultimately ask the right question and get the answer to that question without jumping to a data conclusion is a really important part of what we do in operating this marketplace and then synthesizing data around answering specific questions rather than licensing specific data sets per se. Right? As compared to the financial services segment where so much of the focus is on what happened in the last 90 days because you're ultimately trying to predict quarterly earnings, 